How's it going guys? With the third forge out, the blast furnace has been around for a few days now, and with it comes the new pulse rifle, Blast Furnace. As you can see on screen right now, this is the exact pulse rifle, the Blast Furnace. Now everyone is generally going for the perfect role of Outlaw and Kill Clip, Outlaw and Rampage. Well, I came across another one today on this weapon called Feeding Frenzy, normally found on heavy machine guns and I have to tell you that this is by far one of my favorite perks unlike outlaw which requires you to have a precision kill after reload this doesn't all this requires is a kill body kill headshot kill anything and you pretty much have as you can see amazing reload now I was lucky enough on this weapon to roll feeding frenzy kill clip and a masterwork for reload. So the mark, the reload on this weapon is amazing. That being said, as you can see, it's just a tearing machine. It's a four burst firing weapon. So the blast furnace has two scopes. The Satow focus lens, which I prefer. It's got accurized rounds. It's got tactical mag. It's got the feeding frenzy, which is amazing. If you ask me, it's pretty much better than outlaw in my opinion. You've got kill clip on this weapon and you've obviously got the masterworked reload. With this, this weapon becomes god tier as you saw. Killing anything with any type of shot because of feeding frenzy activates a superior reload and this changes the way this weapon is used completely, both in PvE and PvP. I'm in love with this weapon, Bygones was my weapon of choice but not anymore. The four bullet hitting blast furnace is great. And when you compare it with say the bygones, it's got more impact, more range. It's losing a bit on stability, sure, and handling, but everything else is just superior. You have a higher rounds per minute, higher magazine. It's just a really, really all round great weapon. And when you compare it with the Redrix broadsword, Again, he has superior range. Again, the stability is slightly higher on the broadsword, but it has better reload, which as we all know, reload is great. Of course, broadsword standard stats aren't what's important. It is the actual desperado when you proc it. But getting that to proc also requires you to play a different way. So this weapon for me is great. In PvE, it just flows so brilliantly. But what about PvP? Thanks to my friend Mad Cal Tully, I was able to take him into a private match and try this weapon out for good measure. And it didn't disappoint. So if you look at the body shots, we have 16 damage per body shot, and that's four burst. For the headshot, we have a 27. Now bear in mind, he has a nine resilience at the moment. And even with a nine resilience, it's taking four body shots to take him down. This weapon is dirty. It's really, really good. Now when it comes to headshots, it's a 27 damage per hit. Now as you saw there, I only landed seven shots. So now that he's lowered his resilience to four, we can see here with seven shots, it hit for almost all his health. Obviously this is a four burst shot, so all four should land and boom, this sweat guys is a two shot pulse rifle. If all eight shots land, this is a perfect two shot pulse. This is amazing. Now with kill clip active, this becomes guaranteed two shot. It does 36 damage per headshot. And it means that you only have to land three out of four bullets per burst on every shot. So technically it still remains a two shot, but you don't need to land all four bullets, which makes it even easier to get a two burst kill. This weapon is really amazing. And with the stability counterbalance mod on there, it's a sweet, sweet weapon to use. I highly advise everyone out there to go and farm for this weapon. This role is amazing. Feeding frenzy, kill clip, and a masterwork with Reload is just god tier. This weapon will keep you in the game either in PvP and PvE for the long haul. It's really that good. 
There is no reason why you shouldn't get this weapon. I know people love their outlaw, but to me, this right here is amazing. And just to show you that it does do 36 points of damage, I did force myself to jump into PvP just for you guys so you could see it for yourself. Here it is. As you can see there, Kill Clip is now active, thanks to Feeding Frenzy, and boom, right there, you saw 36 points of damage. Clear headshot. I did manage to land one shot as I was getting wrecked, but it's there, and it is a perfect weapon. Well guys, that's my review of the Blast Furnace with the roll that I got, Feeding Frenzy, Masterworks Reload and Kill Clip. I hope you've enjoyed this review. As you can see, I did get the Monarch weapon and I will be doing a review of that tomorrow. It's... I'll leave my judgement for that for the next video, but all in all, I really do enjoy this weapon. And for those god tier PvP players out there, here's a challenge for you. If you get 50 kills in Crucible without dying a 50 kill streak, this is what's waiting for you. See if you get it, mate. I can't believe that. Oh, oh. I don't have a medal for this. Hang on. I'm so proud Anything? of you, Guardian, and I oh, want man. you to have this. Oh, Shaq has made something special for Chaos Prime. <laughs> yeah. He put he goes to put a medal there and he can't put it. And uh he <laughs> makes a smiley face medal. He drops it. <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs>